Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Besiege. Um, this is not maybe what you would consider a traditional Let's Play, but uh, I wanted to do a quick video, well, a quick-ish video, with commentary. This is probably just going to be one episode, uh, once I get it all edited together. But uh, what I've decided to do as sort of my final hurrah for Besiege in its current form, because I'm really pretty much done with everything I, I want to do uh, in the game, is I'm going to run through the whole campaign using only this vehicle, the uh, the Wyvern. If you watch the uh, uh, the showcase of all my contraptions, uh, as you can see, this is a flying vehicle. It's based pretty closely on just you know a standard attack helicopter, more or less. Uh, it's got the uh, four rotating auto cannons in the front, which are are ignited by this torch. It has a bomb on either side with a, uh, a counterweight slash counter lift, uh, which is designed to whenever uh, the reason that these uh, counterweights are designed this way, they're not just weights. If they were just weights and you had a weight drop off this side when you had the weight drop off this side as well, then the uh, the whole contraption would be much lighter whenever you drop the bomb off and and you'd get a whole lot of a whole lot more lift that you couldn't trim out because. Uh, Besiege doesn't allow you to control the speed of these rotors in real time. You can set them uh, in construction, but you can't. There's no um, in you know live control for them. I guess you might say. So I can't adjust the rotor speed to trim out uh, the lift. So what I ended up doing was just doing automatic uh, flying blocks that drop off whenever you drop a bomb, and it keeps the whole thing weighing or. Um, in about the same amount of lift to weight ratio, which is very helpful. And it has a, uh, a little grappling mechanism underneath. So this contraption is technically capable of completing every mission on this first island, which is everything that is in the game so far. So that's what we're going to be attempting to do. Um, so that's why it's sort of a let's play and that I'm going to be going through the whole game, well, hopefully. Um, but I'm only going to use this one contraption, and uh, I have done this before. It is sort I mean, obviously, if I've done it, it's technically possible, but there are some of them that you sort of have to fudge, and I'll, I'll show you those when we get there. So, let's get started with this first one. All we have to do is destroy this little house. And if you've played Besiege, you know, this is the introductory level. They want you to build this little, uh wheeled contraption here that all it does is drive forward and smacks into this house and knocks it over. So, uh, this should be pretty easy. All we're going to have to do is fire the cannon, basically. Um, now, I have the controls for the uh, wyvern here mapped to a controller, which I'm using. Oh, missed. There we go. Um, so, it gives me a lot more fine control. See, I can yaw around, which is just to laterally turn a, an air vehicle, if you're not familiar with that term. Uh, I can roll left and right, like this, which gives us our strafing. And then I can pitch, which in a helicopter, pitching is how you get your forward momentum. There's no, well, some, you know, helicopters, some do actually have, uh, like, jet engines or whatever, but a traditional helicopter, you tilt the uh, main rotor forward and backward if you want to start moving forward and backward, so that's what we do here. Um, my initial design, going to the next level, uh, my initial design for the Wyvern had the, uh, the main rotor assembly here on a pair of hinges that could tilt, which is how an actual helicopter works. It, it, it uh, has a mechanism that tilts the main rotor independent of the body, but uh, it, it was, because there's no auto-centering hinge in this game, which means that it doesn't go back to center automatically when you let go of the control to turn it. Uh, like you might think of uh, a steering wheel might do, or something like that. But because you had to manually make every single little adjustment, it was basically impossible to fly, or at least I found it to be. Uh, so instead of that, I have all these wing blocks, or uh, flying blocks, I think is what they're called, that adjust the... Uh, orientation of the vehicle and lets it, you know, fly, more or less. 
Uh, so these first few are going to be very easy for the wyvern, as they are easy for every mechanism. It's, uh, it's a bad day if you struggle with these. Uh, now here's a little bit of a piloting challenge for us. We have to just kind of go and land in the square. In fact, I'm not even sure if I'm going to need to land. I may, because the uh, what counts is the center block, which you can see with the green outline there in the middle. And I have to get that low. I could probably just crash right down in there, but I'm going to attempt to, oh, to do this with some measure of elegance, if I can. I'm very cautious. As you can see, it does, um, there we go. That wasn't bad. Let me get the hell out of here. It does want to drop, so it's, it's a little bit heavier than it generates lift, which means if I'm, if I'm doing nothing, it sinks. Um, which I find to be the most controllable way because uh, especially when you're trying to use the grappler which is extremely difficult anyway the uh, it, it's easy if you just let it slowly sink it does have uh, flying blocks on the bottom that allow you to descend more rapidly if you should need to do so let's see if I can get over here and bomb these guys and then just take out the houses yeah, it's hard to see. Hey, that worked. I might be able to get both these houses with the other bomb, actually. Let's see if I can. Ooh. Oh, nope, only got one. I could crash into the other one, but let's see if we can shoot it. If my torch stays lit. It really, the thing that annoys me the most about this whole... Oh, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> well... Uh, I have a shot left, but uh, the hell with it. Let's just run into it. Oh, I don't even remember what I was saying now. Oh, the... Uh... Wait, is that what I was saying? Oh, the torch going out. Yeah, the fact that the torch goes out after a while, that's a big bummer. Uh, because that means that if you don't fire... Whoa, oh, let's just skip right on by. If you don't fire the auto cannon early enough, um, then it it goes out and you can't fire it anymore. Now I could, I do have those cannons I think bound to the number keys, so I could reach over and fire them that way if I had to, but it's a bummer that, you know, and there, you could obviously, um, you could probably rejigger this to where it uses a torch. I'm sorry, not a torch, a flamethrower, which doesn't go out, obviously. And I have done that on some of my other designs, but um, the bad thing about a flamethrower is it tends to catch your whole contraption on fire because the flames sort of blow around, especially with a flying mechanism. Uh, so that's really not a great option. I'd much prefer it if the torch just didn't go out. I don't really know why they do. I I suppose they were going for some sort of realism in that the torch would run out of fuel eventually. But uh, I don't know why that's necessary in any way. I'm not sure how many guys I'm going to get with this bomb, but we'll try it. The best way I've found of... Oh, I let myself on fire. I went badly wrong. The best way I've found... We may actually win anyway. Oh... Uh... No, we're like one guy uh, short of winning. Uh, anyway, I was going to say, <clears throat> the way I believe I recall doing this last time is that I simply, uh, I just crashed, <laughs> intentionally crashed straight into the archers. Okay, let me get away. Oh, no, here we go. That may do it, actually. Did that do it? I didn't hit the archer line. The problem is that, um, uh, Obviously, when you drop the bomb that close, you, th you throw little flaming bodies everywhere, and one of them inevitably is going to hit the uh, the fuselage, and then you just go down in a burning wreck. But if you go down in a burning wreck on top of the archers, then you win anyway, because all you have to do is kill the people. It doesn't make any difference if your vehicle survives. Hey. There we go. That'll do it. Maybe. Oh, yeah. They're all on fire. I'd be very surprised. Yeah, there we go. Now see, it's not a very elegant solution, and you probably could do that in such a way that you fly up really high and then drop the bombs, maybe, but, uh, meh. Like I said, if they, uh, they did a version of that map where you actually had to survive it, then, uh, it would be quite difficult. Okay, this is gonna be very tricky, because this is a, uh, well, in theory, this is a grappling level, because we gotta get these two balls to enter this region. They don't have to stay there. All they have to do is roll into it at some point. So, what I'm going to try first is just very simply 
I'm going to try to motivate them to go that way if I could hit them. This one often, here we go, we'll just do it manually. Oh, dink. Am I in? Hey, okay, there's one. Uh, now I could push the other one, or I could just blow it in there. Let's see. Let's see if we can just motivate it, quote unquote, with a, a little bit of a little bit of explosive motivation. It didn't even move, did it? Fine. The tree's on fire now. Um, I could just zip down there and try and shove it with the front scoop. That'd probably be easier because it's in such an awkward position being uh, sort of in this little nook. Uh, let's let's just try that. Hey, doink. Hey, success. Oh, are we still in the air? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I, uh, uh. Have we lost? No, but we're still good. We are still good, sort of. If I can. Amazing. <laughs> I can't believe I recovered that. Not that it makes any difference. But anyway, yeah, I mean, that works. Whatever. If it's stupid, but it works, it's not stupid. Oh, it was still stupid. Okay, this is going to be a pretty easy one. All we got to do is shoot this uh, uh, monolith here. I will show you what happens. The challenge of this one, other than getting some kind of a projectile up at that angle, which can be pretty hard once you've, uh, when you've just started the game, but uh, I'll show you what the problem is. When you get close enough to this thing, it starts to zap you with lasers, which sets your device on fire. There it goes. Oh, a piece of debris almost hit it. Uh, so, what you want to do is just stay back and just... Oh, that's not high enough. Take a couple more shots. That was way off. I need to move... Next time I'll move the camera so that I can actually see where I'm aiming. <laughs> that seemed like... Actually, I probably could do it this way, too. We'll try this, and then if not, then I'll try a little bit harder. Oh! No, I missed. Okay, so let's line this up a little bit better, shall we? The the uh, one of the biggest problems with this game currently. There we go. See how easy that was. Uh, is that you? There's no there's no camera options. What I mean by that is there's no way to fix the camera to your craft. Like uh, this thing would work so much better if you could set the camera so that it was always facing the same direction as your source block, so that it turned with you you know, uh, and up and down as well. That's something they that really, that I hope they, uh, they add. I would be surprised if they didn't at some point. Uh, and this is the first time you were required to use explosives because these reinforced buildings, uh, they're immune to anything else, I believe. Yeah, see, the cannonballs just bounce off. I believe even a boulder doesn't, uh, has no effect, really. So we'll drop this on there and it should be done. Easy peasy. So that's just forcing you to deal with the bombs, which frankly are... it's not fun. Like, the bombs are just incredibly annoyingly fiddly to... that was a horrible shot. This one can be pretty difficult too. I'm not sure what the hell's happening to those guys. I think they're running into the uh, struts I have down there. I'm blow up this cannon. There we go. And if I can get down there, I'm just going to try and smush some of these guys. Um, this one, I believe, is one of the ones that gave me the most trouble. Because there's a lot of different stuff that's all spread out that you have to kind of try and deal with. I lost a flying block there. And it can be difficult in a vehicle like this to... Uh... Oh, there was one. Yeah, this is not going to work out for us. Um, because our our range of uh, ability to deal damage is, is kind of spread out. Let's see if I can back up a little bit and get off a couple of decent camera, or camera, cannon shots. There, yeah, we got that cannon. Um, and I want to, before these arrows do too much damage to me, I'd like to drop a uh, bomb in the middle of these guys. This could be one, like I said, that takes a number of attempts. <laughs> Sometimes the bomb weirdly doesn't even go off and did no damage. So, this is a fail. 
but we might as well keep trying. As you can see, I've lost a few wing blocks. Wing, I keep calling them wing blocks. They're not wing blocks. They're uh, a hook. Oh, I wonder if we get the cannon, would that be enough? I could just crash into it. Possibly. Is it out of ammo? Huh. I did not know that they ran out of ammo. No, the cannon's not even worth that much, actually. Maybe I can smush the guys. Well, I've lost most of my control. We're really fairly close, sort of. Not that close. Yeah. Jeez, just a little bit. You have to get 90%. I think for this, uh, for this particular challenge, I think 90% is asking a little too much because it's such a mess. The uh, all the the different crap everywhere. This one, honestly, they. Uh, I I don't think, in my opinion, the. The mission that they've chosen as the last mission is not anywhere near as difficult as this one. Somehow did not light myself on fire there. That's my position, anyway. We're looking pretty good here, actually. Uh, what am I missing? Several soldiers. I've lost a lot of my steering ability. Pitch is almost completely gone. Both cannons are still there. Oh, hey, that did it. That was good enough. See what I mean? Ugh, it's just such a mess. I'll probably get this cannon too. Rawr. And this guy. Squish. There we go. I'm happy with that. That took several attempts, but like I said, I'm not surprised at all. Uh, the sheep one is a problem in this, uh, in this contraption as well. Uh, okay, so it's another monument to destroy. The trick with this one is that there's this very strong wind blowing by, so all of your shots are going to uh, get pushed. But we have enough firepower that we should probably be able to compensate. <laughs> or I could get in one, that's fine. See, that's, uh, that's maybe not the best difficulty progression ever, if you ask me. This one, all you have to do is destroy uh, the majority of this tower in the middle. It's going to be, again, very, very easy for us. We could fire our cannon here, but it doesn't really... Aside from potentially killing one or two of these guys, it's not going to do anything. I could just crash into it, actually. Or... No, m wow! That is a miracle! None of those bombs went off. How did that even happen? That's amazing. <laughs> like I said, I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to be cutting out, but... Uh, it may be a fair bit. I don't want this to be too long. It shouldn't really take me very long to complete all these, in theory. Hey, that was a good one. Oh no! No! We're on fire! <laughs> Did you see the one little guy? The one little guy just fly crazily up in the air on fire like a meteor, like a reverse meteor and touch the wood of my fuselage and ruin that run. How dare he? How dare he? Let's try this again. That's gonna be... Yeah. It's so difficult to have... Yeah, see, that was right on top. You wanna hit it low so the whole thing crumbles because you gotta destroy, apparently, an alarmingly large amount of the damn thing. And it's hard to get your camera in a position where you can see what the hell you're doing. Why am I not... What the hell's happening? See? No. I can't even tell where I am. See, I'm much... I, ugh. The camera. The camera in this game makes things like this extraordinarily difficult. It's kind of amazing. And you can't... Whoa. And you can't exactly bind camera controls to anything. I mean, I'm already using Joy to Key. Obviously for the... Uh, we're high enough that we've got, we've got Z fighting happening on the uh, ground there. Ooh, that was good. That was a good start. Killed none of the archers, so that's helpful. Ah. Uh, uh, anyway, as I was saying, 
Hey, there we go. I, I could potentially sort of really, really jankily bind the uh, the camera to some other controls using Joy to Key, but because I mean you can't even you don't you can't even move the camera with the mouse. You have to hold. You have to click and drag. You have to right click and drag to move the camera around at all. So it's just it is as janky as it could possibly be. I'm not a fan. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, this is the only... Is it the only? If it's not the only, it's one of maybe two uh, missions in this game that are going to actually completely require the use of our grappling line. And that is a scary, scary prospect. Because this grappling line is not so easy to use. It's going to be hilarious if I just take care of business here as if okay then. Well, you know, sometimes people say things and whatever, shut up. Oh, the sheep one. Okay, well, uh this one is horrible for this machine. In order to do this effectively, you need something that wh what you want ideally is to be able to just drive around in something and that run them all over. Preferably something that can climb or that can launch a bomb up into the top level. Although, in my travels, <laughs> in my experimenting, you don't actually need to get... If you kill every sheep that is uh, on or around the bottom level, that will count. Uh, that will complete the mission. So you don't actually need to get those sheep there. Ooh. Oh, yep, set myself on fire. That tends to happen. Okay, attempt number uh, two at this, I think. It's not bad if this is just two. If I get it this time, that wouldn't be bad. I'd be okay with that. Come on, sheepy, sheepy. Come on, sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. We want all the sheeps. And they're somehow killing themselves. I don't even know how they're managing that. This is a reasonably large group of sheep. I'm gonna fly up and drop the bomb. Dead sheep everywhere. That was good. That was about what half. And if we fly over this pin, there's a good chance that a lot of these will kill themselves trying to chase us off the cliff, which is not super entertaining. But well, I mean it's amusing, but maybe not great to watch. If I can not crash, this will be very helpful also. Not crashing is my favorite thing. My favorite type of flying is not crashing. Come on. Off the cliff. Off the cliff. Three sheepies for me. There we go. That was good. I gotta turn the camera. Always a precarious uh, prospect. Yep. Alright. I could probably get that group. My cannon has gone off. My What? That sinister made no sense. My cannon. In fact, my cannon has done the opposite. My torch, which ignites my cannon, has gone out, is what I was probably attempting to say. So, let's see. Okay. Phase three. Collect more sheep. Collect large numbers of sheep. Larger than this. All you sheep. Yep. You too. These ones. Just drift low. Hypnotize the sheep with the helicopter. Everyone knows that sheep love helicopter. Sheep love helicopter, yes. And drop the bomb! Yay! Success! And I caught myself on fire, which was not unexpected. Okay, not a big fan of that mission, so I'm glad it's over. What's next? Oh, this. This could be an issue, as this is another very precision flying type deal. We gotta fly through there, then through there, and then land back here while not getting completely janked by these dudes. Now my plan <clears throat> is just to shoot out that bomb that they are right at, that's right in front of them, which will take care of them all and leave us to our precision flying task. <laughs> that's a little high. That was completely off. That was, again, too high. Okay, well, um, I've missed the bomb entirely. I'm taking arrows, which is 
rapidly diminishing my ability to control my craft. On the plus side, I have bombs. I missed with the bombs, but I have additional bombs, which I potentially will not miss with. There we go. Oh, and then that happened. <laughs> At least I landed in the third zone. So it wasn't it wasn't a total failure. It was near total failure. Let's see if I can get lucky with one of these shots and hit the bomb. I can't. Well, okay. Oh! Or I can. I couldn't see because the damn camera was right in the way. In any case, they're all dead, which is all we actually care about. Um, I'm going to be safe, and I'm going to drop both my bombs out here. Both my bombs out here. Yep, yep. Because I don't want any... I don't want any little bumps to turn into calamities. And then I'm going to very carefully... Very... Well, I can more... No, more carefully than that. Okay, there we go. I'm going to very carefully pilot my craft into these two little gates. First this one. This camera angle is terrible. Can I improve it? M maybe, sort of. What What's happening with the camera right now? Seems a bit odd. Another problem with the camera is that it uh, it wants to tend to... Oh, don't crash. Don't crash. There's one. It wants to tend to try to keep all of the parts of your machine on screen, which in theory is good, but in practice there are a lot of parts of your machine that you are not going to care about once they're gone. Like my ballasts or the struts. Ah! See, that was... I, I blame my lack of ability to see what the hell I'm doing for that. Oh, I can't believe that missed. Come on. Really? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to try again. Nope. <laughs> wow, I just can't make this happen. A little bit to the... There we go. Okay, so... Good start. Good start. Now, if I can just be a boss for one second and fly through this little pass that's meant to be driven over. And another one there. I assume they put the big sh sharp rocky protrusions there to dissuade just the sort of thing that I'm trying to do. Oh, okay, we're home free now. <clears throat> Uh, but it didn't work, because I got through anyway. So, the hell with them. And this may be the last, um... It is, is it? 60% of everything, yep, this is the last one. Okay, uh... So, now we're virtually done. All we have to do is destroy 60% of everything, which is... It, uh... It's, it's not too hard, actually. I'm not gonna use my bombs on all these guys. What I am gonna do is use my cannon while it's still lit to miss everything strategically. It's very important. There's one. And two. I could squish these guys. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm much more interested... <clears throat> I'm much more interested in shooting the buildings while my cannon is still lit. I could get a camera angle that wasn't horrible. There we go. Let's see if I can use this last shot to actually hit something. That would be neato. Oh well. And that's why it didn't work. It's because it would have been neato. Okay, I'll come back and kill these guys in a minute. If I uh, do a decent amount of damage to the main building here. What I probably should do... Sorry, I'm going a little bit of horse here. What I probably should do, and what I will attempt to do in my next... Wow, that bounced off the, the wall there and went right in the middle. Okay, so this run, that attempt was basically a complete waste. Okay, so attempt two. What I think I need to do is draw all these soldiers up here so that they're caught in the... Whoa! Oh, right, it's windy here, too. I forgot about that. I want them to be caught in some of the... Um, some of the... Chaos. Oh, whoa, whoa! Too much chaos. Too much chaos. That was too much chaos. I need to be a little bit further away from the chaos when it occurs. 
as I took a very large piece of debris to the undercarriage there and it sent me flying. Okay, that was a good spot to drop that bomb though. Let's see if we can replicate that. That was not so great. And it caught me on fire, so it was so it was 100% not so great. It was zero great. I maintain that that's a good spot to drop that bomb though, because of all the walls there, I'm assuming every destroyable segment counts as a, a something. Wow, you just cannot escape the little flying dead guys on fire. It is amazing that moving at that speed, they are able to carry enough of a flame, hot enough flame, to ignite my mechanism at a simple touch. I'm trying very hard to... there. That was good. Really? Really? Really, game? One time this is going to happen, and uh, the little miracle guy who manages to fly up and slam into my fuselage, burning it 100,000 degrees Kelvin, will not happen. That's what I'm betting on. Hey, well, it, that didn't happen that time, but I did catch a friggin' building to the wing. <clears throat> okay, attempt, I don't know, five, something like that. This one's tricky. As you would hope it would be for the last level. I still maintain that it's not as tricky, especially if you have a uh, ground vehicle that, you know, like a basic palt. It's really not as bad as all that. See, and a lot of it completes itself. Look at all that carnage that we can't see because the damn camera is impossible to work with. Okay, if we get this bomb where I want to get it, I think we'll be done. I think that'll do it. Right about there. That was not really what I was aiming for. I was going for the building. Hmm. Well, that doesn't mean we're out. I destroyed less of the uh, of that tower than I wanted to I still might oh oh two misses drifting too much wind actually I'm not even sure if the wind is affecting me over here and my torch just went out okay so ramming speed it is I'm not sure how much these buildings are worth I'm hoping it's a little bit. Doink. Yeah, that was... That was a bit. Hey, there we go. Good enough. Not spectacular, but good enough. Get another one while I'm at it. And stay in the air. Amazing. So there you go. That's all of it done, I think. Uh, that's everything in the game uh, done with this one vehicle, the Wyvern. Uh, so that was fun, and that is going to conclude. If you're completely sick of Besiege, I totally don't blame you. It's really hard to drive backwards, fly backwards. Um, but we're done now. Uh, that's all I really was interested in doing. Um, until, of course, when the next version comes out. Uh, I'll, I'll probably pick it up again, because it really is great fun, and you can make some really cool stuff. QED. Um, so... Uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next project, which will probably be another little one. I'm still sort of feeling out my uh, my ability to upload and playing around with my editing software, which I'm... I mean, if you watch the, uh, the showcase video, you're probably well aware that I'm... Uh, I'm pretty comfortable with at this point, but... But uh, nonetheless, there will be more content. I'm 90% sure. Still not completely promising, but, you know, uh, we live in dream. Uh, so, again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.